defensively we were outstanding. That's what kept us in the ball game because that could have turned either way. I mean, we did not play well those first six innings, and they know it. And you know, kudos to to Lake Erie. I think that starter pitched really well. Um, I didn't think our approach was good off of him, and I don't. I, I didn't think we made the adjustments we needed to. Um, sometimes it's like that, and, it's, and we got to we got to make sure that we have a little bit more sense of urgency midweek, no matter who we're playing, and um, and be ready to go from the first inning on. I think the biggest thing, you know, if you saw him against Pitt, and then the last two outings, I think his fastball command has been much better, and that's I think that's been the biggest difference. I think he's been a little bit more composed. He he seemed a little frustrated against Pitt from the first pitch on, you know, and that's sometimes what a freshman goes through. And I think he learned from it, and I think he's he's learning as he goes. I think he can be really really good. And you know, if, especially midweek, if we can get good performances out of him midweek as a midweek starter, um, it's going to be very, very uh, beneficial for this program moving forward. Shaded toward the right side, lots of room in the left center field gap. One, one, cut on and miss. Runner takes off for second base, throw down, and they got him by a mile. Lally's first pitch hit in the air toward the left. This is sinking for a base hit, rounding third and coming home is Rosa the throw toward the plate is up the first base line, not in time, and Rosa scores the first run of the game on a single by Tim Del Porto. Here's the one one from Poole. Miklos, line drive, base hit to the left center field. In to score is Birch. Del Porto around third, he scores. Miklos will cruise into second on the throw. The Golden Flashes get the clutch hit in the eighth inning. Now the one zero. -oh. Hit high and deep to center field. Rayleigh racing back. It's over his head, and this could do some major damage. In to score is Mamarella. Miklos is right behind him. Here comes Spector. He scores. Zaleski busts it wide open here in the eighth inning with a bases clearing double. Seven, one. It, it did. I think it took the pressure off us a little bit when we got that big hit. Miklos got that hit, and I think it, I think it relieved him a little bit, and then they kind of woke up. But you know, I, 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 you know, things happen. You know, and we just got to make sure we play much better uh, at home. You know, and you know, we've uh, we didn't look good against Pitt, and we didn't look great until the eighth inning today. So um, we, we might have to make some adjustments at home and, and figure out. I think hopefully that eighth inning, that eruption offensively, um, helps us out, and 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 we go to Pitt tomorrow. And then we're back here against a pretty good Western Michigan ball club who's got a really good number one. And we're going to have to be really, really good offensively and a really good team on Friday night at home and uh, to beat them. And we've got to make sure that uh, we play much better at home. And here's Eli's 0-2 pitch with two outs. Hard hit deep to center field. Racing back Mamarella. He's got a beat on it. He makes the catch. And that's the ball game. A KSU KO over Lake Erie College and they get their first home win here in 2016. The Golden Flashes now have a 17 and six record this year as they win their 15th interleague game of the season. The final score of this one, Kent State nine and Lake Erie one. <laughs>